<laughs> Which one can you see him doing? I'm sorry, he got the skills in. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the quickest on team? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Pick That One Out in association with Monster. We'll be putting two players to the test in our multiple choice quiz. Let's have it. Taking part today is Nathan Teller and Mohamed Salasu. Right, gents, come in, make yourself at home, take a right. seat. Thank you. Let's get straight into it. All right. Start with a warm up question, yeah? Get you energised. Here we go. Who shouldn't be allowed to control the music in the dressing room? Musa Gineppo, Will Smallbone, or Moy Elanusi? Musa. Yeah, uh, really? Yeah. Has so noisy music. Yeah. What kind of genre like, are we talking about? Only drama, you know? It's like, it's, it's like African music. Yeah, it's, yeah. But it's, it's a lot of like, yeah. drums. Drums, just, quite you know, intense. Yeah, yeah it's like intense. noise. Just noise. <laughs> I, I don't really hear them speak. It's literally just drums. Just the racket. Yeah. That's yeah. like, obviously, he likes it because like he'll play mm. it in the gym and he's yeah, dancing, he's and then you dancing. look at everyone else and no one else is like, like what's, what's he playing? Oriol Romeo is asking for your career advice for life after football. He's considering three career paths, but which should he choose? TV actor, bus driver, or hairdresser? <laughs> 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 Which one could you see him doing? <laughs> I'm sorry, he got the skills in. <laughs> um, you know, I would say, um, you know, because he likes his cars, I'll probably say, say bus driver. Yeah, yeah. I'd say, yeah, I'd say, do the bus driver. I can't <laughs> you can see him rocking up in the big bird bus. Yeah. yeah. All aboard. Yeah. Just couldn't imagine him really, unless anyone wants to go bald. You can bring a footballing legend back to play one match for Southampton in their prime, but who are you choosing? Thierry Henry, Zinedine Zidane, or David Beckham? <laughs> Some legends there. Um, I don't want to oh. say Beckham because they'll argue about free kick teams and passes. Yeah. So, <laughs> growing up, I looked at Thierry Henry and thought he was a world class player, and he's a world class player. So, I'll probably say I'll bring him back just for one game. Yeah, for me, I'll go for Thierry Henry. Yeah, because um, he's a great player. What do you think it was that made Thierry so special? And what do you think you'd bring to this Southampton team? I think he, as well as he had his um, finishing, I'd say he just had that yeah. hunger, that desire yeah. to want to win. Like he could see games where you just take it by the scruff of the neck, pop up and score, score two goals, Arsenal win the game, and <laughs> what more do you need? You need a goal scorer, someone to win your game, and he was that. Which player would make the best TV football pundit? Would it be Jack Stevens, Fraser Forster, or Tino Livramento? Steve. Yeah, hundred percent, Steve. Yeah, Steve. Steve. He's just got so much like knowledge about the game, mm. and just the way he speaks. Like he's a, he's a funny guy as well. Yeah. But I just think as well, like he's, he's got the voice and the personality for that. Like you get, I think he, yeah. fans would like him if he was doing punditry. He'd be very good at it. Yeah. You'd believe everything he said, even yeah. if it wasn't true. Yeah, yeah. I, I believe that now. <laughs> <laughs> It's karaoke night. Which player is getting the biggest round of applause? Is it Tino Livramento, Armando Broja, or Romain Peru? I'd probably say Armando, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think Armando will probably get the large the largest reception. Not that because he can sing, but he'll probably just be on stage just as well as singing, he'll do something stupid and make everyone laugh and... Have you ever seen any of the lads get up and do karaoke? Um no, nah, because what you know, because yeah. obviously when you first come you've got yeah. to do um, initiation. Of course. So Obviously, Tino's done his one. This was quite good. But I say the best one I've seen was probably. Fio? Fio, yeah, Fio. Fio's was very good. Was it? Yeah. What Fio. did he do? I can't remember the song, yeah. but it was before but Chelsea last yeah, season. Yeah. yeah. So, so it was good. so good, yeah. Was it? Yeah. What about your initiation, lads? What did you have to do? Mine was eight. Mine my, my was very bad. Was it? What was your? When was yeah. yours? Yeah. Mine was, uh, I think, Brighton. Are we? Oh, yeah. Last season. <laughs> Which Very song? bad. I need to use my phone. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't prepared at all. Yeah, because I wasn't prepared. So you had to read it off your phone? No, no, I need to play the song, you I'll know, so I can sing. You know? What song was it? Uh, I think it's an um, African song. Oh, was it? Yeah. yeah. And what was yours? Ed Sheeran, A-Team. But that was, I think that was like, a couple of years ago, because I went away with the first team when I was in the academy. And then you just got all the main characters screaming, oh, it's time to sing. Um, playing oh, on the no. car, and that sound it just sent shivers down my spine. How were you feeling going into that? I was just nervous. Like, they gave me the um, they gave me the cup to hold. My hand was just like this the whole yeah. time when I was singing. So oh, I was like, no! I think my voice even went <laughs> when I was singing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now you're going on a team paintballing trip. Which player do you want on your team? Willie Caballero, Stuart Armstrong, or Oriel Romeo? Ori. 
Why? Because he'd probably just run out head first and <laughs> he'll take all the bullets and then I can... <laughs> just clean up after. Yeah, he'll sacrifice He'd take all the hits. Yeah. And then plus he wouldn't feel the pain as well, so he'd just keep going. Just run through it. Yeah. Let him take all the all the paintballs. Yeah, and have you... him as a riot shield. Everyone keep <laughs> behind him. <laughs> yeah, <I did>. <laughs> <laughs> you two have the best smiles at the club. Everyone knows that. So you decided to launch your own brand of toothpaste. <laughs> However, you're too busy with the manufacturing process, so you need a player to be the face of the advertising campaign. Who are you choosing? Is it Shane Long, Carl Walker Peters, or Theo Walcott? Let me say Carl. Yeah, I'd say Carl. Carl's got quite a good smile as well. Actually. Yeah. Yeah, uh, me, I'll go for Theo. I'll what is it about Theo? Theo? Yeah, and he has a nice smile. And quite cute. Yeah, cute. Yeah, <laughs> he's cute. Yeah. Really. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have to give complete control of your phone over to a teammate for one hour. Who causes you the most damage? Is it Adam Armstrong, Jan Bednarik, or Musa Ginepo? I'd probably say Musa. I'd probably say Musa because I don't know what what he what he's gonna do. Yeah, yeah. I know he'd Maybe. be sensible, but I'd probably just have like, about 100 videos of him dancing on my phone or singing yeah. into the camera. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, it's probably, probably just that. Yeah. Like, Maybe he's going to take a lot of videos. <laughs> <laughs> just videos of himself. Yeah. yeah. yeah so then when phone. you go onto your phone next, you're yeah. like, on my camera. Yeah. 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 Videos. Me so, me so, singing. So, yeah. Maybe your memory will be full. <laughs> so the team go on a team go karting trip. But which of these players is most likely to win the race? Is it Will Smallbone, Shay Adams, or Romain Perot? Uh, I'll probably say Roman. I think Roman. Roman. Yeah. Uh, he just does everything at 100 miles an hour. Is Roman one of the quickest on the pitch? Nah. No. Nah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Really? Nah, he's quick. He's quick. He's but... quick. One of the quickest. Not one, not, uh, I, not... I wouldn't say he's one of the quickest. I say he's quick. Mm. But I wouldn't say he's, he's one of the quickest. Maybe you are qu quicker than him. No, but... no. But I'm saying if I'm talking, if you're talking about like, everyone who's quick, like, mm. if you had to list five, the five quickest, mm. he, I don't think he'd be in the, in the top five. Who is the quickest in the team? <laughs> uh, between you two? No, no. but he, yeah, he yeah. always says it's him. I'll say it's, it's between me, me Ama, uh, Adam Armstrong, yeah. Theo. Uh, Theo. Theo's still got it, is he? Uh, yeah. Is he? Yeah, so fast. Still rapid. Yeah. The last one, Tino. Tino's yeah, up Tino. there as well. Yeah. I'll say it's between us well. And final question, lads. Okay, which of these players would you trust to give you a haircut? Armando Brogia, Ibrahim Diallo, or Stuart Armstrong? I want to say Stu, you know. Could you trust any of them though, to be fair? Nah, but if I had to pick one, the person who cares about the hair the most is Stu. I don't think Broge would be good at cutting hair. No. I thought no. I'd like just get distracted. And like, put the wrong clipper on. Just get a zero straight yeah. down the middle. <laughs> who would you least trust then? Armando. Yeah, I wouldn't let him touch I wouldn't let him touch, wouldn't let him touch you <laughs> no, for any yeah. amount of money. I wouldn't let him just touch me in general. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, probably I wouldn't let him touch my hair. Well, yeah. gents, that's it. Absolutely smashed that. Well done. Thank you, thank you so yeah, much for your time. You. And best of luck for the rest of the season. Right. Thank, thank you very much. much. Cheers. Cheers.